so we're at the Shuna Bar, and um, we all know that the Shuna Bar is, I would say, one of the best bars on the ship in Royal Caribbean. Um, and they have a whole book that is specifically to just the Shuna Bar. Now, the plan was to just drink one drink and try it. But I think that we're going to taste a couple of them here um, and then just enjoy what the Shuna Bar has to offer before we venture off to finish those. So, let's have a toast for the real ones. They said everybody else has been coming on the icon. You need to get this. And um, I pretty much got the ingredients that I'm gonna make this at home. See how this works. Okay. So let's let pretty Timmy taste and see what you think. Oh, you like it. I don't know, your face is kind of in. Cheers. Toasted marshmallow old fashioned. That's the so best far is my best so far. Yes, that's the best old fashioned. And I just think it's because of the other things they put in. And I, I forgot. I mean, I looked at the ingredients, but I didn't study it. But I will be recreating this at the house. All right. So there, you take sure of the one you got. And which one is this? Oh, the Southern Belle. The Southern Belle, and it's uh, Buffalo Trace. So it is whiskey based again. So, you want to try your I've been trying. You've been trying? Yes, yeah, it's good. I had one at the casino ball last night. See, you know what? Why he don't pay it? Why he, he don't be paying attention, y'all? Great Tim be sneaking it, getting it in. He always sneaking stuff. Okay. Smells refreshing. Smells like it would be very um, Stuff. Now let's see if it tastes the same way it did. I know I'm sorry, I'm just with the braids on, but uh, my braids doing its own thing today. Oh yeah. 
It, it, it puts you in the mind of a... Like a sprint. And what's in it? It's, in it. it's something in there with some bubbles or something. Trust me. Um, because it's like a very, very, very cool drink. It's a very cool drink. And I know it has whiskey in it, but even if you're not a whiskey drinker, this isn't whiskey forward. You know, it's very, very refreshing. It's not too strong. Oh, it's the soda water. They got the soda water in it. Okay. So this is uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon, blueberry, puree, mint leaves, lemon, and soda water. That's the best drink I've ever had in the boat so far. It's a good balance. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. So what we get next? Let's see what else we got. That anything else that sounds tasty to you? Yeah. Let's go ahead and find out what else we're gonna be stepping on. So, our next drink here at the Schooner Bar, because there's just a lot of just drinks that you can only get at the Schooner Bar. And since there's, you know, other than here, and I believe it's the 1400 bar, all the other bars are pretty much serving the same thing. But what we want to bring to you are just some of the drinks that are not at every single bar that is just not rep repetitive. repetitive. So, I'm going to get the, we're going to try also the peanut butter tropic, which consists of screwball peanut butter whiskey, pineapple juice, bitters, and lemon juice. You already know I'm going to try this at the house, okay? I'm definitely going to remake this if I like this. And then Timmy is getting the Desert Pier Margarita, which consists of Patron Silver Tequila, or just any silver tequila that you prefer, just making sure that it's not a, you know, cheap brand. I'm not talking about inexpensive or my cheap. Um, Desert Pier Syrup. never heard of Desert Pier Syrup, but I'm going to have to figured out what other syrup is close to this desert pier syrup. Um, and lime juice, so very simple. Three items, usually that's what a cocktail consists of, is three items. Only, you know, maybe plus or minus one, but usually it consists of the alcohol, bitters and citrus, or, and juice, one of the two. Okay, so, let's see what this is. Anyway, peanut butter tropical, screwball peanut butter whiskey, some pineapple juice bitters, and lime juice, so lemon juice, so curious to see what this tastes like. Smells refreshing, but I also smell a lot of peanut butter, so let me see. Ooh, this is different. This tastes like, give me one minute. I can't describe it. It's like this one is like eating. I don't taste chocolate. No, no, I know what's in it. No, I'm saying it's in the glass. Oh. Um, it's sort of like eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You know, another whiskey drink you could drink. It's okay. It's okay. It's better than okay, y'all. It's better than okay. It's different. It is very different. Now that we can agree on. That's a this is different. Now let's taste the drink you got. What you got? Go and tell the people. Tell the people. 
How he know he ain't even tasting it? And it doesn't pay a margarita is what? Look at that. They got the corn, silver, tequila, basil pear syrup, and lime juice. Most tequilas and uh, margaritas are like, is that, is that good? It's like refreshing, is it strong, or what it tastes like? Does it taste like pear? No. It tastes a little bit of lime juice and it makes it good. It's pretty good. It smells refreshing. Like, it smells like a, like a lemonade type thing. It smells like a lemonade. Oh. This is good, y'all. Anyway. I could sip on this all night. But then again, you know, I could sip on the other ones all night too. But this right here, this right here, for those who like watermelon margaritas, pomegranate margaritas, and stuff like that, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find that damn desert pear syrup and I'm gonna make mine at the house. That's, that's a definite one. This one, this one's good. That one's good. You chose good. You chose good. We know you cut more than just the wheel now. We know that. No, I don't. I'm the wheel. I'm an abusive wheel cop. Ain't nobody abusing you. With a gold knife. So, they have some other signature drinks, but um, some of those we've drank, we've um, consumed before. Um, they just go by different names, basically. Um, and a lot of them are rum based now. And I'm pretty sure by the time we get to the other bars, we're gonna be, most of their drinks are gonna be predominantly rum based. So um, we're gonna save the specific rum drinks to just the other areas. But um, we've done four from the Schooner Bar. It is delicious, it is delicious. Um, they got a rum old fashioned, just like they have tequila old fashions, but their toasted marshmallow was off the chain. That tropical sidecar, I definitely will be back tonight to try that. Um, I just like sidecars. Um, they have a gin one, which is called c and T. It's very pretty. Um, it's a lavender drink, and you know what? That can be our wild card for the shooting bar, this drink. Because I'm not really a gin person, and neither are you. But this might shock us like that drink did on the uh, on the celebration. When we thought with all that other crazy little ingredients it has, sometimes you may see ingredients and be like, that's not gonna look good. But it's actually good. It's actually good. Right? 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 You mean to say this like you mean to say it with your chest. She's trying to put it already. Nobody tried it. Yes. I think we're both going to try the CNT. Um, it is a gin drink with lagoon bay liqueur, simple syrup, lemon juice, and tonic. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm not really a gin person. I don't like that taste of like a plant. It tastes like a plant. It really does. It does taste like a plant. Um, but there are some drinks where you really can't tell. Just like that drink I got from, um, from, uh, Donnie, what's the name of the dad one? Resort we just came from not too long ago. Sheep. Yeah, the Royalty Sheep. It was called the Passion Sheep drink. And it had, that was gin based, but it was so good. You didn't, you didn't taste the juniper at all. Um, so we're gonna try the CNT. Um, see what we like it. That'll be our wild card for our for this bar of our crawl. Okay, something that we think we're not gonna like it, we just might like it. Let's try it. Okay. 
This is pretty though. This is pretty. Thank you. This is pretty. This is C and T. So this has gin, dry gin to be specific. Um, Lagoon Bay liqueur, simple syrup, lemon juice, and tonic. This looks like a refreshing drink. I just hope it was see. Smells like a Christmas drink. Smells like a Christmas tree, but let's just hope that all the other flavors. But then again, it also has the lemon wedge in there, like the lemon wheel in the drink. And so, you know, whatever you garnish it with, Uzi, it fools you because it lets your nose smell something to help you what you taste. So, uh, let's see. This is called the C and T. So, let's see what what that gives you. This over there. Why this won't close? Oh, here we go. Put that over there. Thank you. The C and T, y'all. It's okay, but it's still Jenny to me. It's still like it's still gin. Um, still tastes like a Christmas tree. And the lemon in there just really enhances the the, citrus, the, the, the Christmas tree taste to it. So. Now, you can probably doctor this up to make it taste good. It's a good base. But to me, I just taste too much of the juniper. And maybe it doesn't need to be a dry gin. Maybe it needs to be a different type of gin um, or a premium gin. So let's see what Timmy thinks. Not a pretty Timmy moment. Not a pretty Timmy moment, y'all. So, yeah, if you drink gin and tonic, if that's your thing, gin and juice and all that type of stuff, this is this would be categorized as one of your refreshing drinks. So this is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. But not nothing I would take care to make at the house. So we're gonna leave that there. I know it's gonna be a wasted drink, but guess what? We don't have anybody with us that's gonna just drink it up. But just so look, but just so y'all know, if any of y'all end up on a cruise with us, chances are we got the drink package. We gonna drink it, and if we taste something that we don't like, it go to the side. So if you willing to suck it up. And you do it with it, you it ain't no backwash. You just put it in a different cup. Backwash drink. It would uh, feel free. It's just fine. Just, you know, I know these bartenders be like, they just wasted the drink. Well, if I don't like it, I don't like it, but somebody got to drink it. Right? All right. So, Tim, you all right, Tim? Yeah. Yes, Tim going so. So, which, uh, which was your favorite so far? How did the, how did the, well, we already know that's not our favorite. Me. But what was the other one? <laughs> you said you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Um, what you, which, which out of the four, which one did you like best? Me. <laughs> margarita. Okay, so he liked the desert pear margarita. And I have to say, I'm a little partial because that toasted marshmallow old fashioned was just dead to my heart um but when it comes to a whiskey drink cocktail that is it for me but for the non old-fashioned cocktail i would say that desert pear margarita was off the chain it's definitely something i will try to recreate back at the house you're gonna be drinking a lot of on the show you ain't let me tell you something it's it's one of those remember that um granberry that i that i put on my video well, my cousin told me about it, and she said she tried it at a wedding, and it was basically Grand Marnier and cranberry juice. So you would drink like two parts Grand Marnier and four parts uh, cranberry juice. You know, now if you want to taste more of the Grand Marnier, you would do like three ounces, three ounces. But um, if it's just a regular, you just want it mellow, then you would do two ounces. Um, Grand Marnier and four ounces cranberry juice. And of course you adjust the 
cranberry juice amount or the Grand Marnier based, to um, based on your taste. But we was drinking that through the whole one of the seas trip. When we was on the one of the seas, oh girl. It was delicious. It was delicious. And we still, that is like, if you want to drink through all throughout the day, but you don't want to feel like you you drunk or you don't want that feeling, but you still just want a nice taste of a cocktail, that's it right there. That cranberry juice and grandma egg, it's called the cranberry. That's what that desert peach margarita reminds me of. It reminds me of, I could drink this all day. And I don't have to worry about nothing. That, that right there is off the chain. So just wanna let you know, that's the Shuna Bar. On to the next one. We're on that way to Bolero next. So I want to introduce you all to Caesar at Hello. the Shuna's Bar. From the Philippines. All right. Where you at the Philippines? Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Thank Welcome to the Caesar Palace. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later, Caesar. Thank you. What'd you call us again? What? What'd you call us again? TNT. TNT, don't forget to subscribe, TNT. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, meat, meat, you done started something. You got the bartender calling us TNT now, so we're gonna have to do something with that name, but we got something in the works. It's coming, it's coming. Funny quick story. I was trying to get out of the ladies' room, and there were so many doors, and I couldn't remember where to leave. And every little wave door I kept doing was another toilet. <laughs> Took me about five minutes to get out of there. Just a quick story.